Butchake English for Teens! Welcome to Butchake English for Teens. I'm Josh Barnard from Eon. And I'm Alex Schroer, also from Eon. Every week we're going to be sharing English phrases used by native speaking teens. We hope you enjoy them. So, Josh, what's this week's issue about? It's Halloween, and someone is wearing a surprising costume. I wonder who it is. Well, let's listen and find out. There are a lot of great costumes this year, huh? I'll say. Is that Kazu? Why isn't he dressed up? I don't think he's that tall. Hello, cousin. It is me, Kazu. Sup! That's the scariest costume here, hands down. That costume combo is awesome. Yeah, couples' costumes are great. Totally. You know, I was thinking maybe this year we could... Uh, never mind. So, d did you catch what Alex said about Ellie and Kazu's costumes? Yeah, he said, that's the scariest costume here, hands down, right? Yep. Hands down is an expression that basically means easily or for sure. So, naturally, one of the most common situations it's used in is when talking about competitions. She won the race hands down. My brother is the best at chess in the family hands down. Or when comparing the quality of things. This is hands down the best essay you've ever written. This is hands down the most delicious soda I have ever had. Oh yeah? What soda is that? Ooh, if I say it, do you think they'll sponsor me? No, probably not. Then what's the point? All I want in this life is unlimited soda. That's all anyone wants, Alex. Our mote on point for today is the intonation for huh. There are three main ways that we use this word, and two are questions. Let's start with those. The first one is the way it was used in this week's issue, as a tag question. When you ask for confirmation or agreement, you can put this word as a tag question at the end of a statement. There are a lot of great costumes this year, huh? You'll notice that the intonation goes down. We only really use it this way when we're already pretty confident about our statement. The next question is just the word huh by itself, with the intonation going up. Huh? This basically just means what? You can use it in casual situations when you are perplexed by something. Huh? Uh, when you don't understand something. Oh. And the last way to use huh is by itself, like this, with falling intonation. Huh. This is a sound we make when something is slightly interesting or surprising. Come to think of it, it's kind of like a less excited wow, huh? Huh? Well, I mean, if we use wow when something is very exciting or surprising, huh is like a less excited version, no? Oh, uh, yeah. Huh. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out, and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. English for Teens!